In this tutorial, we will explore how to create an assignment for your students in your classroom. So um, just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to go into a classroom that already has students um, in it, so one that I've used with my own students. When you're in your classroom, remember the stream is just kind of the announcements area. Under classwork is where you will create um, your assignment. So you hit the plus for create, choose assignment. You have a lot of options for how you want to present your assignment to students. One of the things that I do often is to provide them with a blank organizer or possibly a chart or a graph or some type of document that I want them to record their work on. If you're doing that, it's important to create the document in your Google Drive before you create your assignment. So. Um, I'm just going to call this reading log and so what I would want to do is I'm going to change my points to ungraded. I don't usually grade things right in Google Classroom. I just look at them with Synergy up and put the grades into the grade book on there but you can um, do it for points on here if you'd like. You can choose whether you'd like to have a due date and time so I'm just going to make this due tomorrow and then this again is where you can choose your topic so that you can organize um, all of the assignments and stuff for your students. Now to this assignment you can add a document, you can add a Google Doc, a YouTube video, or a hyperlink to a website. So I am going to go into my drive and I am going to create a new document and call it reading log January and I would insert my table set it up however I would want date time minutes um, book title three word summary just for an example okay so this is what I would want the students the assignment would be that each day for the month of January they fill this document out and submit it at the end so now if I go back to my classroom assignment and click the drive button this is where I can select that document that I just created for my students now there it's important that you um, consider whether you want the students to be able to view the file edit the file or make a copy for each student. So for this example, because I would want each student to have their own reading log, I would want to make a copy for each student. There may be times where you upload a document that you just want students to refer to that you wouldn't want them to be able to edit and there may be times where you want them all to contribute to the same document, in which case you would just have them edit it, not make a copy for each student. So. Um, I'm going to then go ahead and, oh, another thing to remember is you can assign it to more than one class. Um, that's a really cool feature of Google Classroom. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and click Assign, and whenever I do that, um, it's going to pop up in the classwork stream and then all of the students in my class will get an alert saying that a new assignment has been provided to them. When students go in and look at their assignments, they have the opportunity to access the documents that you create and provide for them, but they can also upload artifacts to the assignment. So oftentimes teachers will have students do something, say like a park practice example, a park practice question, for example, and they would have them take a screenshot of their work when they're finished and upload that to the assignment on Classroom. So essentially what Classroom allows you to do is for you to make the assignment and have, all, have the students put all of their artifacts or anything related to that assignment all together, making it just much more simple for you as the teacher to access their work anywhere that you are. The other thing about assignments is this new feature that's called a quiz assignment. And if you click that, um, so it this um, tool actually creates a blank Google form for you. So let's say this is reading quiz 1221 um, and ungraded although let me just for um, an example I'm just going to put that 
it's out of four points since we're doing the standard space grading. So four points, it's due um, tomorrow, and the topic is ELA. And so I can click on this blank quiz, and it's going to open up the Google form for me to go ahead and edit. So reading quiz, and then I can go through with adding all of the questions that I would want um, the students to respond to. Once I go back here then and push this out, notice that it says that Classroom will import the grades. So essentially what happens is when you set the form up, you tell Google what the right answers are and then they grade it for you and import it right into, um, into Google Classroom so that you have it easily accessible and done for you.